So now, let's go ahead and drill uh, some of the holes on the top face uh, of this part. With our outer perimeter operation selected, let's go ahead and go to the holes menu and select drill. And for our, um, we'll name this uh, drill 0.157 diameter holes. Okay, and then for the tool, we already have a drill defined. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Here's our drilling uh, cutting tool. And let's go ahead and change that to one inch. One inch of flute length of 0 0.75. And the tool diameter, and let's go ahead and set the shank diameter to 0.157 also. And everything else looks good. Let's save that. For the feeds and speeds, let's go ahead and slow this down some. For the spin, uh, spindle speed, let's slow that to say 190. And for the cut feed, we'll set that, that to 10. And the engage. We'll slow this down since it's a drilling operation. Okay, so let's go to our clearance plane, use the default cutting parameters for drilling. Now, uh, in this beta release, we have uh, a lot of additional toolpath operation types, and uh, we've added some additional uh, drilling types uh, to the drilling operation. So, in this uh, for this part, we're just going to use a standard drill, but in the future, if you have parts that are deep, you can do a deep drill uh, or a countersink drill. If you have countersink uh, on the top of your hole, you can use a countersink drill or a brake chip drill. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use a standard drill for this. And for our drill depth is 0.188. That's our drill thick. That's our part thickness. Now, to get a nice through hole, we're going to add the tool tip uh, to, to the drill depth. That'll make it go uh, past the bottom of the part uh, by the depth of the tool uh, tip. So, where is our cut geometry? We don't want to, obviously, we don't want to drill with this pre selected geometry. So, let's go ahead and right click and we'll unselect that. So, we're going to go ahead and drill these four holes here. So there's our holes. So now where are they? They're at the top of the part. So if they were at the bottom edge of the part, you could select that bottom. Or if they weren't on the part at all, if they were on a sketch up above the part, you could project those down to the model. So we'll use a dwell of five seconds and we'll have an approach distance of 0.1. So the drill will come down to 0.1 above this face. Uh, it'll start uh, its uh, spindle speed, do the drilling, and then uh, move over to do each hole. So let's go ahead and look at this additional tab for sorting. This is where sorting can really help you out if you have a lot of holes. That way you can control uh, in which order uh, the holes are going to be drilled. So let's do it without sorting and look at it and then we'll do some sorting and we'll show you the difference. Let's just go ahead and generate. You see that we have uh, four holes drilled and let's go ahead and take a look. We'll just go straight to the simulation to see the order of these holes. So let's go ahead and run that again. So we started with this hole in the back, we moved over to this hole, then we moved all the way over diagonally to this hole, and then over to this hole. Now you can control through sorting rules the order in which these are machined. Let's go back into the drilling operation. And we'll go to the parameter section for the sorting tab. Let's use a directional sort. So we're going to sort uh, in a one direction, and then we're going to start from high to low. 
we're going to start a, a primary sort direction of zero. It means it's going to go in this direction. This is our zero direction along the x-axis. And we're going to have a traverse pattern of a zigzags. So let's take a look at how this changes the pattern. So now you see that it's going to cut in this direction and go to this direction and then this direction. Let's go ahead and simulate that. As you can see, by changing the uh, sorting rules, we have uh, we eliminated this traverse cut, uh, this traverse motion from each corner over to this corner, and that saved us some machining time. So there's our uh, drilling operation. Now.